No, that's a different engine. That's this. No, on this one. He said this is one I just swapped out on the Concord. What's wrong? It's got a busted valve cover. <laughs> is something come loose inside? Was that done externally? Said it happened when they were shipping it to us. That they ran the straps across, and when it did. Oh, so it, it happened from outside. Yeah. There's nothing inside come no. apart. This is right. that when they put the tie strut down on it, they put it over that top. I mean, I got valve covers off the, off the old one, but we'll see. Let me uh, let me see if this crank will even turn. All right. Yeah. Hey, it turns. That's a good sign. Uh, so is that valve cover? No, I know when I take that sucker off. It's not locked up. All right, drop it. Yeah. All right, my. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. So this is the one they bringing into place. Now, he was quick to let me know that there's a hole in the valve cover. Did it happen externally? We don't know. But damn it, I'm taking this valve cover off and look at this engine. Like if a chain or something loose or something, then yeah. I mean, I can simply use the other valve cover, but I don't know, guys. <laughs> That's why I hate doing used old ass 2.7 2 liter engine. At least this, look. I mean, that's no big deal. Oil pressure sensor just broke. They just handle this stuff rough. I don't care. I just want to get this car running and out of my life. And this is the one that come out of it. Remember guys, it was just sludged up and he was complaining about a ticket noise. Can't do nothing with that. You only you just need another engine. And I don't know the condition of this. I'll fire the camera back up guys and I'll pull the valve cover. Y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, here we go. You talk about one pissed off dude. Alright, this is the one I'm putting the engine in. As you can I guess you can tell I had it running. Uh, well, I started it just to see if it would run. Yes, it would run. All right, so now I complete all my stuff, fill it up with coolant, start it up uh, for the real startup, start it up, and I got coolant leak. Guys, guess where the coolant leak coming from? All right, it's coming from the top, falling to the bottom. So I put my pressure gauge on it. Let me unplug this. All right, with just a little bit of pressure, Y'all see this shit? This freaking housing, man. Uh, this came on the engine. I don't know uh, if we supposed to trust that or not. I, I'm so freaking frustrated right now. I mean, the one on the old engine, it obviously was not leaking. So should I have just simply took that off and put on this car? No, I just dropped the whole damn engine in. Look at it. This don't look no better, but it wasn't leaking. Uh, uh, well, I'm about to take this off and put this on the car. All right, guys. I don't know, man. I'm so, I'm so sick. That's why. I, you, there's no way you can see that damn thing leaking when they drop an engine off. Okay, you will not know anything until you start this motor. Yeah. All right, I'm Henderson's crime out of JT. Get the damn thing off. All right, guys. Hold tight. Ooh, well, that's it, guys. I am done. Okay, y'all hear y'all hear that sound? Everyone, do you hear this sound? This is my last used 2.7 I'm ever in my life installing. It's just way too extremely risky. Okay, and junkyards do not care. They're trying to make a sale. They don't know the condition of the engine of the cars that they pulled them out of. No one seems to. My point is, I'm done. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Uh, this this engine is ticking louder than its original. It, it has oil in it. Everything is sufficient. Everything is okay. I don't know why it's ticking. But uh, that's all I have, man. I'm frustrated. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Here we are the next morning, guys. I must admit, guys, I may have overreacted <laughs> last night when it was ticking and knocking. Uh, obviously, the... Uh, 
Lasher, Jester, Lifters. They go by different names. It hasn't bled, bled properly yet. Okay, as you can hear, this engine is quiet as a mouse. All right, now I'm gonna steam clean all this smoke away, but for the most part, the engine is quiet, guys, and that's really what matters. All right, because I I was in panic mode last night, but I don't hear no ticking or no knocking, as opposed to I heard all that knocking last night. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to go test drive this puppy. All right. TDC, TDC guys, test, test drive, drive check. check. Y'all ready? Let's All right, y'all know how I do. I tend to go drive every car that I do major work on. Some cases don't even have to be major work. Sometimes I just want to get away. So this is a perfect time to do such. Like I said earlier, I may have overreacted simply because the engine was ticking and knocking when I first started up. Guys, remember guys, the oil and lubrication system have to kick in fully. Now, this engine likely was sitting on a junkyard pallet for the last, I don't know, a year? Who knows? But all the oil in the valve chain has drained down, all right? So, yes, uh, the pump have to do some work. Now, but I did let this car run 10, 15 minutes, and it was still ticking and knocking. That's when I panicked. But um, as you can see in here, it is now purling like a kitten. This is a 2.7. Guys, remember what I said on my on my. Remember what I say on my TDC. Uh, I'm paying attention to the temp hand, the uh, the way it feels. I got the heat on so the cooling can circulate, and I got the AC on so the fan can run periodically. So based off this test drive alone, guys, I want to say this turned out to be a successful repair. Remember the whole reason why they came in the first place. It was making a ticking sound. All right, so let me go over a little history. When I saw that complaint and saw what kind of car it is and saw what size engine it was equipped with, I chose to get teardown time authorized. Teardown time is simply a procedure mechanic used to uh, remove parts so they can get a closer look at the engine. In this case, I had to remove the valve covers so I could get a better look at the valve train system. The physical valve train parts. So the valve covers have to come off. When I removed one valve cover, guys, I saw everything I needed to see, guys. Um, I had sludge build up on the engine, so that was enough right there to uh, proceed with recommending a complete engine because we we not we do not take risk in trying to repair an engine that has been sludged up, badly sludged, and the two seven already have a bad history of sludge. So yeah, the owner did not want to take that risk. So here we are. Now, I must also admit, guys, I did not think the customer was going to purchase or uh, approve the estimate of such a job, an engine. This is a 04, 05, I want to say, Dodge Intrepid, guys. So, But they did. Obviously, there's some sentimental value to their vehicle that they want to keep. Well, engine is installed. Everything is running fine. I am done, guys. That's all I have, man. Thanks for watching. Uh, come and subscribe guys and I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching All right guys, so peep this I got this 2016 van